Hi, right, so today I'll be showing you how to use um, Facebook Ads Manager to promote your Instagram content. So if you are if you are putting out a lot of Instagram content and you, you and you want to use Facebook Ads Manager to scale your channel and to get more followers and everything, uh, I'll tell you the right right tricks. So uh, let, let me first tell you let me first tell you primary uh, uh, things that you should not do and what people generally do. One, do not optimize uh, any Instagram um, content. for views for comments for likes try to optimize for a metric called shares okay that's period so if you agree with me um let's just move ahead if you do not agree with me let me just tell you uh, in one minute why shares are more, most important so share is one metric which increases your reach if reach increases your profile visits will increase if profile visits increase your followers will also increase so shares is an input metric and followers is an output metric that is there is not i think which will tell you okay, okay if you run this kind of ad it will give you more followers right so let's move ahead to shares so what you need to do first if you are trying to move ahead with shares is this that you know, go to columns first and click on customize columns and then on customize columns create a custom metric so we have to create a custom metric called as cost per share so i type here cost per share and what i need to do is just this that Amount spent divided by post share and save it. When you save this custom metric, you will get cost per share. Okay, and you only apply this. And now what you do is this: that do not create a campaign here directly and optimize for engagement or whatsoever. No, no, no. Just avoid that. Go to your Instagram. Do a thirty day. Uh, click on insights and click on last thirty days. Whatever. um content has given you um the highest share boost that particular content okay that is that is step 1 when you boost that particular content you will see that content here in in this in this particular regard and this is where your content will start running so when you are when you are creating that that, that content on, on instagram uh, you will be using a custom audience you will be using audience because you have created the audience go here and click on audience so when you have boosted on 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 instagram your audience will start reflecting here so for an example let's say you created you you uh, created a uh, created an audience and you named it content uh, the first rule of thumb is this go to edit and you have to exclude the people who are already your instagram engagers and why do you need to exclude you don't want to burn money to show your content to the same people who are already following you right why should you do that you should save the money uh, your objective is to get more and more to reach to more people and hence you have to exclude that how to exclude that go here click on create new custom audience then go to instagram account next and just select this everyone who engages with this professional account so uh let's say my professional account name is in the this well i'll just i'll just click this and uh, just save it after you save it, say save it what you need to do go to edit here you will see include custom audience and then exclude custom audience here search for the name that you saved in custom audience and just select it and update um, here you can see the update that's all so now what you have done you have created uh, the audience that you are targeting has excluded the people who are already following you that step 2 is done so now all the money that you are spending will go to new user acquisition or reaching out to new users right now once your or once your campaign starts running how do you optimize the campaign for so for an example let's say you um, you are what running running campaigns and uh, and uh, you you push it let's say three content now how do i select which uh, content i should be running and which one i should be i should be stopping these are the metrics that i primarily do so for an example let's say let's take an example of these three content if i have to analyze first my objective is to see what is giving me the lowest cost per link click that is one okay we are we are good with this second lowest cost per share that is that is two these two metrics that, that that's, that's all so the post that is giving me lowest cost per link click and lowest cost per share i will promote that so in this case the the first selected content has lowest cost per uh, link click out of all but it has very very high cost per share i will not put all of my money here i will i will rather stop this ad 
and I will rather put rest of my money here.